HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews, contests, and more. Hey everybody, this is Captain Howdy from HookPro.com and today I've got a tobacco review for you guys. Uh, before I get into what tobacco it is, just play a fun little game real quick. I'm going to take a hit and I'm going to show you this because I've been messing around with this for about 15 minutes now because it's not what I'm used to, I guess. I'm using the, my KM God of Luck over here, so I'm still new to the multi-hose uh, hookahs, especially the Egyptian hookahs. So, I'm getting uh, smaller clouds than normal, but let's go ahead and show you this. Pretty decent clouds if I was doing Desi Merlin. Actually, those would be massive clouds if I was doing Desi Merlin. Uh, the fact of the matter is, though, I am not doing Desi Merlin. I am doing uh, Star Buzz Arabian Coffee tonight. Uh, Mrs. Howdy said this sounded good, so I thought, well, yeah, might as well try and get out of the way until we get back to this Merlin. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised with uh, Starbuzz Arabian Coffee. If I didn't tell you this was Starbuzz, you would not be able to guess that this is Starbuzz. I mean, this stuff is this stuff is a little bit lighter than Desi Merlin, but it, it's it's not dyed, it's not anything. I mean, it's not overly moist. Like Starbucks usually is, I guess this is the same consistency of uh, Saloum and Cleopatra over here. So, without telling you that this was Starbucks, you would probably assume it's Saloum or Cleopatra just by looking at this. I mean, this is crazy for Starbucks. I mean, I was expecting drippy, wet, and dyed or golden, but no, this is like natural freaking tobacco from Starbucks. Crazy. smell on here though, I still love the way this smells. This smells like coffee and chocolate mixed. It's a fantastic smell. Sweet, creamy coffee. And then you just got like that mocha smell in there. I guess that minty smell I was smelling at first, it's gone away. I don't smell it at all anymore. Maybe that was just my sense of smell that day. I don't know. I don't care. I like what I'm smelling now. That is all that matters. Man, it makes you want to go uh, brew some coffee. Sip on it while I'm smoking. Anyways, as I was saying before, I've got my KM God of Luck over here. I got my Vortex Bowl with three Starlight Nats on there. It's been sitting here for about 15 minutes now. I guess it's the multi host thing. I'm not used to it. I know with my single hoses, we'd be getting huge, massive Star Buzz clouds with the multi hose. I mean, I've got two of them plugged. Mrs. Howdy has hers plugged over here and I've got mine so I mean everything's correct there's no air leaks there's no nothing so it's just something I gotta get used to I guess but let's go ahead and show you here a little bit bigger clouds let me get another one for you It's a very subtle coffee taste. You can go ahead if you want to. I'm just hogging over here and not letting her smoke. It's a very subtle coffee taste. It's, it's not as sweet. She's getting massive clouds. What is it? Let me see your hose over here. Jeez. It's not very sweet coffee taste like it smells. I mean, it smells super sweet, super creamy. I find it very bland. This is how he's shaking her head, yes. It's, it's a very, very bland. She didn't want to be in here, by the way. I don't know why. She doesn't want to be in, so I'll get her opinion anyways. Is it very bland to you? Yeah, not as creamy and chocolatey as I thought it would be. Yeah, it's not, it's not creamy, it's not chocolatey. It's a very subtle coffee taste. <laughs> 
very bland. Uh, I remember when I first started smoking Starbuzz, it was really strong and nice. And, well, I guess it's not nice to me anymore. But when I first started back to hookah, it was very nice, different for a change. And the flavor was just bam in your face. And, you know, I started smoking more traditional Desi Marilli, and I tried the Shooting Star and Pride of Al Kamashili and all of that, and I can just pinpoint the flavors, well not all of them, but most of it, I can pinpoint, and it's very good. And then I get back and I get onto Solum and Cleopatra and Astle and Smoking More, and I'm used to hunting for flavors, and these in-your-face flavors just aren't there. I don't know if I would recommend this to anybody. I, I'm with Puck. I still haven't, I think Puck said he's found one good coffee. I'm still on the search for a good coffee. I mean, I still need to try Nakhla coffee. I've heard great things about that one. This one's just not doing it for me. Yeah, I say pass on this. It's not very good at all. I'm probably going to go load a bowl of something else up, probably some Desi Merlin and do another review. Maybe some Saloon, Cleopatra. Excuse me, ate dinner, it's coming back up on me. Whew. Big old chicken fried steak, but I'm in Texas, hey, whatever. But I'll probably load something else up, so I'm Cleopatra, let Mrs. Howdy pick and see what she uh, wants to do, because I don't think I can finish smoking this. So, once again, this is Captain Howdy from hookahpro.com. Remember, hookah pro is your ultimate source for everything hookah. Thanks for watching. In that Texas town Right to shack outside the games And you know what I'm talking about Just let me know if you wanna go To that whole mile on the range They got a lot of nice girls, huh?